Hey guys, I uh, just painted my uh, oil pan. Uh, I had to wait a week for this paint to get here from Amazon, but uh, finally got here. And um, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful paint. It's uh, AMC blue, as I said. Um, it uh, it's kind of like a bluish green teal color. Um, depending on which direction you look at it. So you can see blue or greenish up here and then blue obviously right there. Um, it's a beautiful color. It's what AMC used originally on these engines uh, for like the valve covers and um, the... I'm not sure if they did it for the water block or, or the uh, water pump, but I know the valve covers and all that stuff, they painted it this color. Uh, when Chrysler took over, I think, uh, that's when they started painting everything just black. But uh, my oil pan was originally black. But yeah, it's a beautiful color. Um, of course, you can see the uh, pitting from the rust uh, that was on the pan before I cleaned it up. But again, I don't have $150 to waste on an oil pan, especially when my original one doesn't leak. So um, yeah, it's a beautiful color. Um, I guess I kind of got a little bit of a run right there, but that's okay. Uh, I did two coats. So two coats of uh, paint and three coats of primer. So I'm pretty sure the rust is not going to come back with that much paint on there, especially after I cleaned it for two days. It took two days using an uh, angle grinder and wire wheel and an abrasive wheel to get as much of the rust off as I could. So let me know what you guys think about this color. This is the uh, paint that I used. It's from uh, Seymour. I believe this company is actually the company that originally made the paint for AMC. Um, it's made in the United States, and it's uh, good up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect for the oil pan, because of course the engine is going to get to 200 degrees, and oil gets hot, and you also got the exhaust manifold underneath it, so you need a uh, high temperature resistant paint. I would prefer a little over 300, but 300 is okay. So uh, next I'm going to be painting the... Um, the oil fill tube right here. Sorry, it's dark. Um, this is the fill tube. Uh, maybe I can brighten this up just a little bit. Uh, maybe, give me one second. There we go. So I'm gonna paint the uh, fill tube right here. Um, not sure how to get it off. I don't think it screws on. I think you gotta like uh, tap it off with like a rubber mallet. I think it like kind of wiggles on, uh, kind of presses into the uh, intake. Um, and I'm going to be painting the valve covers right here. Um, as I said, everything is just black from uh, Chrysler or whatever. So I'm going to paint the valve covers AMC blue, the oil filler AMC blue. Uh, I kind of wish I had this paint when I did my water pump down there um, like a year ago. Uh, but I'm not going to take off the water pump and the timing cover just to paint it. So when I actually do get into the intake manifold and timing cover and all of that fun stuff, which is uh, in the future, then of course I'll clean it all up and you know paint it um, to match everything else. But I think it's going to look great when the uh, the valve covers are blue and the uh, filler tube is blue, and then the oil pan, of course. And then I'm going to do the uh, the front and the rear diff. Um, the same color. So for now, I need to let this paint dry for at least a day or so. Um, and then I can finally try to put it on and uh, fill her up with oil and start it up and uh, see if it leaks. And God, I hope it doesn't leak because it's such a pain in the ass removing this oil pan uh, with the exhaust manifold right there. So, um, And I do have the... Um, I didn't make a video of it, but I do have the upper rear main seal in there. Um, this is the old one again, so I have the upper one in there. Uh, the lower one is in there. Um, I keep second guessing myself. Uh, it's so yellow in this shop. There we go. I keep second guessing myself um, for how much RTV I used on the l lower seal to upper seal mating surface, you know, where they connect each other. Uh, they kind of, it's kind of how it looks like um, when it's on the engine. So you're supposed to use a dab of RTV right here and a dab of RTV over here to seal the joint between the two. Um, and that's exactly what I did, but I'm so paranoid that it's going to leak. Um, 
sometimes I can't sleep. It's like, damn, did I put enough on there or did I not put enough on there? Um, I guess we'll find out. So I really don't want to use that cork gasket either because I hate cork. Uh, cork gets hard as a rock after a year or two. So when you take off the oil pan, it's basically like glass or a rock as you saw in my prior video. And uh, as much as people say that cork is better than RTV because um, RTV can break off and get into the pickup tube. Well, when I did the oil pan attempting to do the rear main seal a few years ago, the original cork gasket was like squished out and it broke up into like 50 pieces in the oil pan and 70% of my pickup tube was completely blocked with cork gasket. So unfortunately they don't make a one piece gasket for the 360s, I have no idea why. They make them for the 4 liter, but not the 360, so, okay. Um, so we'll go cork, and if it leaks, then I'm going to throw that crap away, and I'm going to do RTV, um, which is kind of what I think I should be doing to begin with, so, but, you know, we'll go from there, so. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let me know what you think of the paint color. Um, so, thank you very much, guys.